everyone. Welcome back to Ash Dev. Vectors are a fundamental part of game development, driving everything from object movement to realistic physics and interactions. In Unity, mastering vector functions can give you powerful control over your games. In this video, we'll explore everything you need to know about vectors in Unity, whether it's calculating distances, aligning objects, or handling 3D rotations. Vectors are everywhere in game development, yet many developers don't fully understand how they work. Let's change that. A vector is essentially an arrow defined by its direction and length. In a two-dimensional space, a vector has two components, x and y. For example, the vector 3, 4 represents a direction 3 units along the x-axis and 4 units along the y-axis. You can think of it as moving 3 units in the x-direction and 4 units in the y-direction, forming a specific direction with a certain length. For example, to move in the right direction, you would move some units along the x-axis and zero units along the y-axis, resulting in movement along the x-axis. Therefore, a direction is simply a change in coordinates, which are x and y in this case. To find the length or magnitude of a vector, we use Pythagorean theorem. When we draw x and y components of a vector, it forms a right-angled triangle, with the vector as the hypotenuse. Using the Pythagorean theorem, we can find the length of the hypotenuse. In unity, we use vector dot magnitude to find the length of a vector. This built-in property simplifies the calculation, allowing you to easily determine the magnitude of any vector. Now suppose you have two vectors and you want to find the distance between them. To do this, you subtract one vector from the other. In vector math, subtraction works by subtracting the corresponding axis values. Subtracting these vectors gives you a new vector that represents the direction from vector B to a vector A. And the magnitude of this vector is the distance between the vectors. In Unity, you can use vector3.distance to find the distance between two vectors. This function simplifies the calculation, allowing you to determine the distance between two points easily. The vector3.angle function returns the angle between two given vectors. Be aware that it only works with the shortest angle, so the value will range from 0 to 180 degrees. Similar to this, we have the signed angle function, which takes the vectors and the axis along which you want to find the angle between them. Now let's discuss two commonly used operations in vectors, the dot product and the cross product. When you calculate the dot product of vectors A and B, you are essentially determining how much both the vectors align with each other. Let's consider an example. Suppose vector A is 3, 4, and the other vector is the x-axis. Yes, the entire x-axis is also a vector with coordinates x, 0, where x can be any number. The dot product of 3, 4 and the x-axis tells us how much both the vectors align with each other, which in this case will be 3x. But if we took the unit vectors for both vectors, then we would have got a value ranging from 0 to 1. The formula for calculating the dot product involves multiplying the magnitudes of both vectors and then multiplying that product by the cosine of the angle between them. Here cos theta is crucial because it indicates how much the vectors align. For example, if the vectors are parallel, their angle is 0 degrees and cos 0 is 1, meaning the dot product will be equal to the product of their magnitudes. Similarly, if the angle between them is 90 degrees, the dot product will be 0. And if the angle is 180 degrees, then cos 180 will be minus 1, resulting in a negative dot product. Similar to the dot product, we have the vector 3 dot project function in unity. While the dot product gives you the magnitude of one vector in the direction of another, the project function provides the actual vector along the direction of the other vector. Essentially, it projects one vector onto another vector, resulting in a new vector that lies along the second vector. In addition to this, Unity also provides the vector3.projectOnPlane function. This function projects a vector onto a plane rather than another vector. To use this function, you need to provide the normal of the plane and the vector you want to project. The result is a vector that lies on the plane. Next, let's discuss the cross product. The cross product of two vectors results in a vector that is completely perpendicular to the given vectors. For example, if two vectors lie in the xy plane, their cross product will point along the z-axis. 
The direction of the new vector is determined using the left-hand rule, and its length is equal to the product of the magnitudes of the original vectors multiplied by the sine of the angle between them. In the formula of cross product, the first part of the formula accounts for the magnitude of the new vector, while the sine component determines whether the direction is outwards or inwards to the plane. In Unity, you can use vector3.cross to find the cross product of vectors, which gives us a vector that is perpendicular to the given vectors. And if you want just the direction, we first normalize vector A and vector B using vector3.normalize and then compute their cross product. This gives us the normal vector to the plane defined by the original vectors without considering the magnitudes of the original vectors. By understanding and utilizing the cross product, you can determine perpendicular vectors and normals to planes, which are essential in various 3D calculations, such as finding surface normals and handling rotations. The Vector 3 class has several predefined vectors that can be very useful. For example, Vector3.back returns the vector 0, 0, minus 1, and Vector3.down returns the vector 0, minus 1, 0. Similarly, you have vector 3 dot left, right, up, and forward. The vector 3 dot zero property returns the vector 0, 0, 0, and vector 3 dot one returns the vector 1, 1, 1. Lastly, there are infinite vectors, vector 3 dot negative infinity and vector 3 dot positive infinity, which return vectors with components equal to negative and positive infinity, respectively. That's it for our look at vectors in Unity. We've covered a lot, from distances to rotations, but we didn't go over lerp functions. If you'd like a video on that, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next video.